Okay, so I've recently installed the Opera browser on my Raspberry Pi 5 because it has one very special feature. Let's have a look at it. Now this version on my taskbar is actually the Android version. So when you launch it, you can see it comes up with the Android interface. It's using Waydroid. I've got a separate video on how to install that on a Raspberry Pi. And I've also got instructions for this OS, so if I just minimize this. Uh, so if you download my version of KDE Plasma, in the Documents folder, there's a KDE text file. And in there, there's instructions on how to install Android into Linux. So let's go back to this browser. Now if I click on this icon, we've got VPN. So if I tap VPN, you can see we can pick our location. Now it's not a pinpoint location, so Obviously Europe is quite wide, Asia and America, but it does work. So if I click on Europe, uh, and I know that this is working because when I watch YouTube videos, I get adverts in Swedish. Let's launch YouTube and just show that it's working. So if we just say Lee PSP video, let's just watch one of my videos, 4K HDR and just tap on that. Hopefully we get an advert. We don't get an advert, of course we don't. Uh, let's try another video and see if we can get an advert. No. Where are the YouTube adverts when you want them? What are we gonna get adverts on? We're gonna get adverts on something about the Switch too, aren't we? So if we click on one of these videos. I have spent one. And another one. Welcome. The Switch 2 is uitgebreid in its pack. So what's weird is I've just clicked on loads of different videos and I can't find any that are serving me adverts. Let's go back to my channel. I'm also not getting the uh, little yellow or amber bits along the timeline, which is weird. So okay, I can get so a 1080 or 1440 even. On a Raspberry Pi and yeah, and nothing, I'm not getting any adverts. And the weird thing about that is I've been using this on a computer at my work. Actually, the FiDTab Duo, which is a rock chip tablet, really, really nice device. And I use Chrome OS on that, and I installed the Android version of the Opera browser. And I have been getting adverts on that, and they have been in Swedish. It's also allowed me to read the comments, which I can't usually do at work. I'm at, I'm at home at the moment, so all of that is fine. But yeah, I can't get it to serve me adverts, but that's what happens. I just can't seem to be able to demonstrate it. So if I click on the VPN again, and let's go America, and then if I go back, if I now type in Amazon, you can see it takes me to amazon.com, and I usually pick desktop layout because you then get the sort of full display that you would on a laptop. But it means that if you're checking prices or checking different things in different regions, sometimes it's just really handy to have a VPN. Obviously good for streaming services because you get different programs in different areas. And if you need specific areas, so for instance with the VPN on, uh, I can't watch BBC iPlayer. I'm in the UK so I can legitimately watch BBC iPlayer. Um, so it doesn't work as well as a paid for one, but the fact that it's free is excellent. So the ad blocking surely can't have been affecting YouTube, because I'm pretty sure YouTube uh, override ad blocking, but I wasn't getting any adverts. Uh, I'm not sure, I'd have to look at the uh, one I use at work to see if that's the case on that one. But you can see there's a data saving mode there as well. I did have a lot of trouble installing this, and that's because there isn't a version for ARM-based Linux. And I tried all sorts of things, so I did try Play on Linux, I tried through Steam, I tried through Lutris, various different methods of getting the Windows version or the standard Linux version to work and I couldn't get it to work. But the Android version, I just installed it from the App Store. So at the moment you can see that this is the browser and it's here just as another app that's running on my system. And if I do say Task Manager, let's see how much RAM is being used with that open. So this is running Linux and then it's running Android within Linux. Yeah, memory look, two gig of 16 gig. So it's pretty decent. And the way I installed it, so once you've got Android in there, so if I close down this, but launch Android as a system, so you can see I've got all my apps and everything in here. Again, I've got another video more on this, either in Raspberry Pi OS or in my version of KDE Plasma. So all I did was use the Aptide store and just did a search for it there. 
and it'll probably show that I've got one installed. And I think it was this one, the Opera browser with AI that I installed, not the mini version. But this browser works on Windows, pretty sure it works on Mac OS. I've got it on my iPhone and my iPad as well. And I just thought I'd share that you can get a free VPN. So if you've got it on your phone, for instance, and you're at an airport and you, you're not sure of the network, then that VPN is going to hide your location, but also just keep it all a bit more private. Oh, there's the AI browser in here as well. Look. It's a nice snappy browser, does a good job, and it has a free VPN. And the way Android works within Linux, so now I've got full Android running here. So as you can see, I can flick through and I can launch a game and I can come out of that. Oh, that was a message there. What was that message? Let's see what that message won't run without Google Play. Oh, I haven't installed Google Play services, although as you can see, it does work. Although I'm not on a touchscreen monitor, so I've got to do it on keyboard, which is not ideal. Uh, so if I now press escape, I can quit out of that. And then let's launch something else as well. There's not much on here. Let's go with the Aptide store. Then if we go back to the desktop and do task manager again, still using very little RAM. I have been using this on an eight gig Pi and it's been working absolutely fine. So let me know what you think. Is the Opera browser gonna be useful to you as a browser that has a free VPN? It's certainly been really useful for me because I also use the Flipboard app, uh, which I don't think I've got on here. So on the FiTab Duo, I've got Flipboard, which just basically links me to lots of stories uh, and sort of things that I'm interested in. Yeah, it looks like you can install it with this. Yeah, Flipboard. Um, and it works really nice with touch, but also works fine with mouse and keyboard as well. But what I found is a lot of the websites that it links to don't work on the very restricted network at my workplace. And so all I've done is if I've clicked on a story and it's blocked it, I've just copied it and opened it in Opera and every time it's worked absolutely fine. I've just got it set to Europe. So I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.